Hey guys, I wanted to talk about my last MDMA experience on New Year's with my girlfriend, which was quite different to my previous MDMA experiences, which have always been in more of a party type of context, so either in a club or a house party where I just dance all night, talk shit with friends. And I've had some beautiful experiences that way, don't get me wrong, but this one time it was a bit different. It was more of a therapeutic, almost psychotherapy kind of context to it, which made the experience, at least for me, more profound. And I had a bit more of a taste of the power of MDMA and what it has to offer. If you look at any MDMA-assisted psychotherapy study, like with war veterans with PTSD and whatnot, they found that the 75 milligram is the therapeutic sweet spot that produces optimal results. So I was reading through a few studies and they usually find that the party dose or the 100 milligram plus mark isn't the best dose for therapy. You know, this is because the patients were rolling too hard and they were too busy having their orgasmic fucking bliss or whatever you want to call it. So anyways, me and my girlfriend had about 80 milligrams or the therapeutic dose because we wanted to test it out for ourselves. And so we had my girlfriend's house all to ourselves. So it was just me and her. Uh, we dropped the M at about, I don't know, 8.30 or something. And it took about an hour, hour and a half to kick in because we just had a meal beforehand because we didn't eat all day. Yeah, anyway, we went back to the bed and the stereotypical MDMA effects started to kick in, you know, the skin started to feel really nice, a bit more orgasmic and, you know, started to feel lovey and like, but it was very chilled out, you know, because it wasn't like ecstasy where you just... <sighs> it's a lot more relaxed and soothing. We just started chatting, this went on for a while, we're having a good time. I think we were just watching TV, lying in bed, you know, just DNMing. About an hour later, I think my girlfriend was outside, like just looking at the fireworks, and I was on the bed, just sitting there and meditating, all right? So I was closing my eyes, going inwards, because MDMA is a beautiful drug that can help de armor um, all these walls that we put up, or if you want to call them your ego defense systems, which are there to protect us from dealing with unpleasant emotions and traumas and all that kind of stuff. So we put all these walls up, right? I was contemplating in my head how personal I'm going to go with this video, um, but I'm probably just going to leave it very surface level. But let's just say I went really deep into like childhood issues, unresolved issues, right, that I haven't quite dealt with yet. So I was swimming in my psyche and going down these childhood memories and moments in times like these catapults which have caused so many problems in my life and my personality and whatnot. So then my girlfriend came in and I started talking about all these issues and then she acted pretty much like my therapist and was just asking questions and helping me uh, think about all these issues and traumas and what I went through as a child and why I am the way I am, especially with a lot of these negative traits. And then this reminded me of these MDMA studies and how the patient's trauma manifested themselves physically, like in their body, like where it could be like a, a tight shoulder or, you know, like a crook leg or whatever it is. So then when the psychotherapist and the patient both come into conclusion and pinpoint the trauma, they're able to release it, like physically, energetically, emotionally. And this is sort of what happened to me that night, actually. And I'm not saying that I dealt with every single one of my childhood traumas and issues that night. No, but it was very profound because it helped me put a torchlight on the issue which I wasn't actually aware of. And I've had quite a few psychedelic experiences and dealt with a lot of shit in my life, but this was new territory, like childhood stuff, you know? And I have very abnormally tight shoulders but what I realized that night that this was because I was carrying this burden you know what I mean like I, I've been carrying a lot of resentment towards some of my family members right for this this whole time since childhood and this physically manifested in my shoulders coming down my you know my chest becoming tight and because of this my breath is becoming more constricted I'm getting more tired and more weighty you know what I mean? And when I realized this that night, it's just, oh, it, it, for a moment, it loosened up and all that tension went away for a bit. And like I said, I haven't completely resolved this. I've just scratched the surface. But it's helped me realize a lot of the negative personality traits that I have and where they actually originated from, 
which is which is very profound, you know. And who knows how long that would have taken with just normal psychotherapy, but with the MDMA, like I said, it helped put down all those walls where I was able to go straight to the core problem. Because like naturally, I put a lot of walls up in my own life, and I've always been like that my whole life. Like these last couple of years, especially since ayahuasca, my psychedelic journeys, I've been able to put the walls down, set my ego aside, and and all that kind of stuff. But I still struggle to talk about and face a lot of these let's say dark aspects of myself and there's a lot of unresolved issues this mdma psychotherapy session really helped me in a very profound way and i you know i even wrote a list and all the things that i need to do and all the things that i need to resolve but yeah that's pretty much it guys i didn't want to go too personal i hope you understand but it's like yeah it's too much for me to talk about it and plus i'm maybe if i was on mdma right now i'd spill all the beans but the walls are back up where well, I just don't want to really <laughs> open that can of worms right now but like I said I had a lot of profound insights and you know my girlfriend was awesome for just holding space and she was an MDMA too and like we both obviously went back and forth but yeah it was pretty cool like having that dose of MDMA and having your loved one just you know having a deep and meaningful conversation that could be so therapeutic it's like it's like a huge weight gets lifted off you and you're able to talk about things that you wouldn't really talk about and our ego is very good at uh, putting these blinders on and hiding us from these dark aspects of ourselves so yeah there's still a lot of work to do but I think that journey never really stops does it but I think it's pretty safe to say that I had a breakthrough that night and I genuinely had these profound insights about myself that I didn't even know like I went really deep guys it was fucking it was beautiful but it's also very tough because yes MDMA can be a very lovey-dovey kind of drug but when you have to deal with certain traumas in your life it's not all fun and games and you almost have to energetically release it in a form of catharsis you know what I mean like if you look at the MDMA studies with these war veterans suffering with PTSD it's not an easy ride you know what I mean like th they have to almost live through that experience so they can release it and it's not just about an MDMA therapy session it's also about the integration after that and then the follow-up sessions you can't expect to resolve your issues forever by just talking about it once on MDMA although it can be an amazing milestone which can get you on that path and help open you up this has helped tremendously for me especially because I have all these walls up from dealing with certain aspects of myself anyways I'm just rambling now um, but yeah 80 milligrams it's very very effective therapeutic dose it's not as fun <laughs> as the 100 milligram plus but it's definitely very therapeutic and there's nothing wrong with going out partying with MDMA and dancing all night because they, those have their therapeutic values as well but if you go into it with a pure intent and you just talk it out throughout the trip you're gonna find that you're gonna get a lot more out of it and it's really not that complex you just take the appropriate dose of MDMA and then you talk about your shit with a loved one that you trust or a psychotherapist if you can find one that would agree to do this with you that would be pretty cool but I'm curious about your guys thoughts like do you think that there is a massive difference of when you take MDMA in a more of a therapeutic context or if you just take it out partying and have you guys had any profound insights on MDMA and you know therapeutic breakthroughs let us know in the comments below but that's it guys I'm going to end it at that if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. But yeah, thanks to all you guys supporting us on Patreon. You guys are absolute legend. Much love, deep gratitude, because some of you may know, but YouTube have been, yeah, cunts, let's say, <laughs> and by demonetizing a lot of my videos. So all my income pretty much solely depends on Patreon, and this platform helps this channel stay sustainable and afloat. So if you guys want to get behind me and what I'm doing, then check out Patreon, that's probably the best way to do it. But anyways, that's it guys, have an awesome day, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.